follow us meeting order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation following. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear God, please bless our elected officials. Grant them the wisdom to know and the courage to do what is right for all citizens. Amen. Amen. Roll call, please. Allen. Here. Green. LaFour. Here. Mistrovich. Here. Rindell. Here. Ricks. Here. Warren. Here. Good to see everybody here tonight. We need a motion to excuse Jamie Green for being out of town this evening. I'll make the motion. Support. What's been made in support? Is there any discussion? Being not, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against. Motion does pass. We move on approval of minutes for the special budget workshop meeting of May 15th. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion. Support. What's been made in support? Is there any discussion on those minutes? Me and I, all in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. That same evening, uh, we have the regular city council meeting of May 15th. Is there a motion to accept those minutes? I'll make the motion. Support. What's been made and supported? Is there any discussion on those minutes? Be not, all in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We move on to audience comments, which we have no audience this evening. We move on to adoption of agenda. Mr. City Manager, any changes? No changes. City Council, any changes? Being on a motion to accept the agenda as presented would be in order. So moved. Support. Motion been made in support. Any discussion on the motion? Be not. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We need a motion for the consent agenda. Make a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Support. What's been made and supported. There's no discussion on the motion. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We do have a public hearing this evening for the city budget. Mr. City Manager? Uh, we probably need a motion. Yes. Yes. We need a motion to go into the uh, open public hearing. I make a motion to open the public hearing on the proposed fiscal year 2017-2018 budget at 7.04 p.m. Support. What's been made and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Be not. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Public hearing is open. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to hold this public hearing in accordance with the city charter to receive comments on the proposed fiscal year 2017-18 budget. Uh, the budget includes um, a headly rollback of 0 0.1176. Uh, that's due to the growth. So our uh, new millage rate for the city general operating millage will be 16.4417. Uh, the total city budget is $8.98 million. Uh, this includes a $3.89 million general fund budget. Uh, the budget calls for a tax levy, as I mentioned, of 16.4417 mills for the general operating purposes, which uh, includes funding from TIFA and the general fund for a set aside of an amount equal to two mills in the street improvement fund. Uh, the city does not have, does not currently have any mills levied for debt and the city will also levy a 1% administration fee on all tax collections and a flat fee of $195.20 annually per collection unit for refuse and yard waste collection and curbside recycling for uh, resi the residential contract. Thank you. <clears throat> we have no public this evening. Has anybody got any comments before we close? I'll make a motion to close the public hearing of the proposed fiscal year 1718 budget at 7.06 p.m. Support. support. What's been made in support? Is there any discussion? Being not, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We move on to items for consideration, and the first one being the 1718 city budget. Mr. City Manager? Uh, I outlined kind of the uh, broad brush strokes of the budget at the, during the public hearing comment and I uh, just want to mention that we did have uh, three 
budget workshops April 17th, May 1st, and May 15th. Uh, the administration has taken all the input from the council and the department directors during those three budget workshops and included them in the final budget that's uh, before you tonight. Thank you. Is there a motion before any further discussion? I make a motion to adopt resolution number 2017-6, which adopts the City of Richmond fiscal year 2017-18 budget appropriates the necessary sums for each fund of the city, adopts the 2017-2022 capital outlay program, directs the levy of taxes and fees for municipal purposes, and directs the preparation of the tax roll and collection of taxes. Support. What's been made in support? Discussion. As the city manager said, we met uh, three separate nights. It worked out very well this year, I think, meeting before the council meeting and then meeting after uh, the, count, the regular council meeting was over with, so it didn't take up two of our evenings. Um, we, I believe we did uh, a very good job of going through the budget again with the administration and all <coughs> the uh, directors of the departments and everything else, which we appreciate, John, uh, that they <coughs> come back for that uh, so any questions can be answered or explained or whatever. So I, I believe another excellent job by the administration uh, to put, pull this all together and makes the job so much easier on us to scrutinize uh, your line items. <laughs> uh, but you did an outstanding job. There's very little uh, change from what we've done in the past. We're still on this, I believe, still on a good path, uh, a good fund balance. Um, we're doing well, and yet we have one of the lowest homestead millage rates in for cities and villages. Yeah, for cities and, and uh, uh, cities and villages, right? Correct. Cities Correct. and villages. Um, so, uh, administration is still doing a good job, and the city council uh, is doing the job that they're supposed to is look it over. So, make sure that it fits the community. Any other comments? Uh, just as you mentioned, Mr. Mayor, I just want to thank the staff, the department directors, to put each of the individual budgets together. Um, then uh, our city treasurer and financial director, Angel Hatfield, uh, who takes all those budgets, puts them together, and then I kind of <laughs> put some finishing touches on it, but it's really that staff that puts it, at, puts it together, and then the council that works with us uh, so closely, not only during the budget, but also throughout the year, uh, that makes those budget workshops go so smoothly. Anybody else? Angel, great job. We appreciate it. All your hard work. If there's no other comments, there's no audience, so we are back to the table. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. And the public is welcome to come in at any time to see that budget, get an appointment with the city manager to sit down. Correct, and it's Look been on file uh, with the clerk's office, but now that it's been approved at uh, the council table tonight, this week, I'll get it uploaded to the website as well. Good, and great. So check it out there and then call or email me if they have any questions. Very good. Okay, item number two is consideration of approving the TIFA tax base sharing agreement, Mr. City Manager. City Council is scheduled to consider entering into a tax base sharing agreement with the City of Richmond Tax Increment Finance Authority under an agreement entered into by both the TIFA and the City of Richmond, a portion of the captured assessed value can be shared by TIFA with the city. Uh, for several years, uh, upon the attorney opinion uh, offered by Miller Canfield, uh, we have been entering into an agreement uh, between the TIFA and the city to limit that capture. Uh, again, this year we're reducing that, hopefully kind of weaning ourselves off from the reliance on TIFA. Uh, so this year's agreement calls for a 20% uh, sharing of the captured value, which uh, in dollar amounts equals $100,115. Very good. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the captured assessed value sharing agreement between the City of Richmond TIFA and the City of Richmond for fiscal year 2017 18 and authorize the mayor to sign the agreement. Support. Must been made in support. Is there any discussion? Of course, this is an item that's been discussed thoroughly during our budget meetings. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Item number three, <coughs> consideration of special event request, American Cancer Society, Bark for Life. Mr. City Manager. 
Council is scheduled to consider a special event request from the American Cancer Society to hold the second annual Bark for Life event in BB Street Park. Uh, last year, uh, they held the event late in October, and this year they're coming back in, and I think it's going to be earlier in October. Uh, it's an event um, that celebrates the canine friends who help cancer survivors on their journey. And uh, they do kind of a walk around the park and costume contests and uh, different activities for uh, families and their pets. And so it was a nice event last year. They're hoping to build and, and grow it a little bit every year. And John, this has been uh, through the Parks and Rec, has it not? Correct. It yeah. went to the Parks and Rec who uh, recommended approval. Okay, very good. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the American Cancer Society Bark for Life special event request to utilize a portion of BB Street Park on October 1st, 2017 from 10 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Support. What's been made and supported? Is there any discussion on this item? This is uh, October 1st. Mm -hmm. Weather should be a little bit nicer there. Um, will this... Uh, where will people be able to find out about this? Will this be on the uh, Parks and Rec? Uh, we'll get it up on there as soon as they get some more flyers. Uh, I think for an October event, they don't have their flyers for this year up and running, but the American Cancer Society, I believe, still has their information from last year on their Facebook page. Uh, but yes, as soon as we have it, we'll have it on our Parks and Rec page. Okay, very good. Any other comments? Being not, all in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion passes. <laughs> Item number four is consideration of special event request, summer concert signage request from senior helpers. Mr. City Manager? Each year, senior helpers uh, sponsors three concerts in the park. Uh, this year, they're, uh, again, all on Thursday evenings, June 22nd, July 20th, and August 24th at 7 p.m. at the Pavilion. Uh, each year, along with the uh, concerts they also do a special event request for the additional signage thank you is there a motion I make a motion to approve the special event application from senior helpers to have temporary signage in conjunction with the concerts in the park June 22nd July 20th and August 24th 2017 with the following condition the applicant shall work with the with city staff on proper placement of the signs to minimize any site visibility issues support What's been made in support? Any discussion on this item? You know, we always appreciate the fact that Senior Helpers um, puts on the, the three concerts during the summer in the park. Very well attended, and um, they do a great job for us. Appreciate it. Any other comments? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Item number five, consideration of special event request from St. Augustine's Walk with Jesus. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to consider a request the city received from St. A's Church to conduct a Walk with Jesus on Sunday, June 18th, 2017, beginning at approximately 7 a.m. The event will begin with a short 6.30 a.m. mass at St. A's, after which the parishioners will walk from the ed along the edge of Main Street uh, from Richmond up to the Holy Family Parish in Memphis. Uh, this has gone over to the police chief who uh, we've had some correspondence with them to kind of tweak their event a little bit to make it a little more safe for everyone and uh, we have no issues with it. Very good. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the request received from St. Augustine Church to conduct their walk with Jesus on Sunday, June 18th, 2017 beginning at approximately 7 a.m. at St. Augustine's Church and traveling north along Main Street to the Mem Memphis Holy Family Catholic Church. Support. What's been made and supported. Any discussion on this item? I know we were concerned when this first started uh, with cars on Main Street and people on Main Street, but it seems as though it's been working out well. Yeah, and, and there's a couple, like the first year they took some short rest periods and so we kind of tweaked them and didn't have them do that at Division Road and Main Street and <laughs> once uh, and they've been great to work with us Good. Uh, too great. so it hasn't been a problem hope they have a great day it's uh, it's funny that's also on Father's Day for our Catholic friends <laughs> well kind of appropriate <laughs> any other discussion being that all 
favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against, motion does pass. Item number six is consideration of the purchase of a push camera for the DPW. Mr. City Manager. The City of Richmond owns and, owns and maintains all sewer leads from the sewer main to the city's right of way. Uh, the majority of the sewer leads in the city have a sewer clean out at or near the right of way and in the event of a sewer backup residents typically contact the DPW to verify uh, if the issue is in the responsibility of the city or uh, on private property and the responsibility of the resident. Uh, this push camera uh, will be operated by DPW, DPW and will uh, better able uh, allow us to uh, figure out where the problem is. Um, based on the bids that came in, uh, there is one camera that was a little more expensive, but uh, due to the flexibility and the power supply, the ease of use and the quality of the photos, uh, we are requesting that the council uh, waives the purchase ordinance requirements and goes with the uh, Mid-American Technology quote. And then Jim is here tonight if you have any questions on the push camera itself or the bid process. Jim, do you have any comments before we uh, make a motion at all? Um, not too many. The the there's kind of like two groups. The low three, two as far as price, are significantly different than the the higher three. So if you will, the one that uh, we're recommending is the lowest of that class of cameras, if you will. But uh, we we were pretty thorough in our evaluation, so we're confident in what we're requesting. Will this uh, save us any money? Uh, by not having to bring in the other uh, gentleman that we or the contractor we would bring in. In in most cases, that contractor comes in when we do not have a clean out. So as far as cost savings, I would say it's minimal. Okay. The biggest benefit it's a risk management more than anything. There's right now we're blind. We we yeah. clean that sewer and we don't really know what the cause was. Or there's been instances where it seems we're good and we've actually when we had these cameras we found out we weren't so it was fortunate we checked it out we were able to fix the problem before it became a, a backup a major issue you know yeah so that's yep. the reason okay any other questions or Jim and this is the one you demoed I mean all of them but this you guys reading the background you played with them quite a bit and we so. uh, the one that we uh, that the guys liked which I, and I liked by far was the first one we tried out and we had them come back at the end to uh, make sure we still liked it and make sure we weren't uh, forgetting what we liked about it. So it was very easy to use, which is really important for us. Great picture and convenient. A cu couple had really inconvenient. I don't know how they sell any of them, quite honestly, for the, especially for that price. But So uh, the guys are excited at the opportunity to potentially you know, have something like this in our inventory. We've been on a push to, it was a long time where we went without a lot. So we're slowly trying to as long as they're taking care of the tools, I said, we'll get what you guys need to perform. And, and this is one of those tools that we're trying to, that they, that they would ask to get. I see you want to uh, kind of change purchase from a crane for a truck? We, uh, it's a long story, but we had originally intent, intended to purchase a new pickup with a service body on it and put a crane on that. We switched gears and we essentially repurposed the truck with a new service body and we bought a lighter duty pickup this year mm -hmm. and next year we're going to buy our, we're proposing uh, in the budget to buy that crane with a new service truck okay so. good okay any other questions jim <clears throat> thank you do we, we need a motion i'll make a motion to waive the purchasing ordinance requirements and authorize the expense of nine thousand fifty dollars to mid-american technologies for the purchase of a metro tech v cam 5 push camera with expenses charged to the sanitary sewer fund support was it made and supported is there any discussion sounds like something that you absolutely need to have yeah it's it's too bad we didn't have it sooner but like you said you, you you're going in there blind yeah we were we were amazed at how much we actually did use it in this short period of time that we were demoing cameras and there have been times we've were excited to get it because we have needed it since then and not had a camera to could i read somewhere or did was there a discussion where this might save from having to go down and dig because we can see what it actually is yeah. in there and maybe yeah. not have to dig down yeah in the past up. if we had a recurring problem it, that our only option really was to dig that's what we've done in the past anyways 
okay. excavate, replace the pipe, uh, where now we can at least inspect it first and see. Uh, like we had a uh, collapsed pipe, we could see a slight depression. Now, instead of just kind of digging and chasing, we were able to camera it and see exactly where the problem was. Yeah, good, great. Appreciate them being real thorough too on this and, and examining all our options. Even though it wasn't the lowest, it wasn't the highest one either. He's not asking for the Cadillac of it, you know. Absolutely. Anything else? Roll call vote would be in order. Green was absent. LaFour? Yes. Mistrovich? Yes. Rindell? Yep. Ricks? Yes. Warren? Yes. Allen? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Item number seven is consideration of lot split com combined requests. Sydney Ham and Nicholas Selkovsky. I was close, was I? I I'm hoping because that's how <laughs> I'm going to say it too. <laughs> City Council is scheduled to consider approving a lot split and combination request from Mr. Sydney Ham and Mr. Nicholas Selkovsky on the above referenced parcels on Pound, Pound Road. Uh, Mr. Ham uh, purchased the property at 35415 Pound Road in June 2015. Uh, this parcel is kind of the second one in from the corner and had, uh, it was kind of an oddly developed parcel, it had two single family homes on one parcel. Uh, they've since uh, demoed both of those houses and the corner house uh, sits about 10 feet from the property line. And so uh, the two property owners are working together uh, the property at 35415, which is a little bit to the uh, east, will split off about 0 .06 acres uh, from their lot, and then uh, that'll be done under action one under the motion, and then action two will be actually taking that 0 .06 acres and applying it to the, to the house at the corner, the property at the corner, uh, which will give them a little bit more of a side yard, uh, which they currently don't have. Very good. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the lot split combination action requested by Mr. Sidney Ham and Mr. Nicholas Kowski for parcel 50-07-03-35-203-008 and number 50-07-03-35-203-0048 the action list of below. Action one split point zero six acres from parcel two at three five four one five Pound Road. Action two combine the point zero six acre parcel from A created from the split in action one with parcel number one at three five three nine five Pound Road. Support. Support. Motion made and supported. Any discussion? They're both all in agreements and good. This is what they want. Both correct. Yes. Neighbors getting along. Yes, working together. Perfect. I also think, Mr. Mayor, that this brings them into compliance with our ordinance and stuff like that, so that the parcel one would have uh, enough room mm -hmm. for, for some side space. So more than likely, we're getting a new home there. What it sounds like tore down a couple old ones. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Good. Any other discussion? Being not, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. City Manager's comments, sir. Uh, just I'm sure many of you have uh, driven by, but if you get a chance, uh, go by uh, Bailey Park. Uh, the uh, tennis court lighting is, is finished. Uh, we also wrapped up our uh, Bailey ball field uh, renovations and then have uh, put in the millings for the new parking lot on the expansion of Bailey Park there. Uh, so a lot of things coming together, uh, painting the light poles made a world of difference <laughs> over there. So it looks really nice all together now it's very modern and twin. looks real good okay council comments Dennis I just want to wish all the sports teams good luck and other endeavors hopefully uh, they can keep moving on sounds like they're doing well very good Emily 
I'd like to comment on how nice the flower pots look. <laughs> I've heard from many people within the city and people that don't live in the city but drive down Main Street every morning. Um, they look really great. So good job to Streetscape on that decision. A lot of people think uh, that is it, that that's all you're going to see. But in reality, when those things grow out, you probably won't even see the pot. They'll grow mm -hmm. out so much. Mm -hmm. So that's when they're really, yeah. really going to look beautiful. A couple beautiful. more months, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Well, they've been growing those since January. Correct. Uh, oh, wow. In a greenhouse. So it was back in December that you went out for bids through yes. the streetscape. And yep. Uh, yep. it's a and TIFA purchase. Yes, and uh, Jim uh, calling around to different communities and different greenhouses. And uh, we ended up... Uh, with uh, Jesco's, uh, but yeah, they uh, planted them for us so that when we put them out on Memorial Day, they would look a little better than if we just ordered them. Yeah, yeah. Anything else? No, no thank you. Okay. John? I have nothing left. Bob? Yeah, with the Bailey Park, the flower pots, the new benches, trash cans, the city's really starting to take shape and look nice, and you see a lot of pride in the community with the people noticing those positive changes. and. Just look forward to see that with more things to come. Keep moving forward. Very good. Michael? Yes, I also concur with everything that was said, but also want to thank the administration for the uh, effort that they made to make another successful Memorial Day parade. We had a great turnout. It was great to see a lot of people in the community that were there watching the parade, but also participation by the Little League, which I think was higher than I've ever seen it. And also to uh, Scott Evans for including the uh, the high school team, which was there as well. And then also the weather was great, and then also the VFW for doing what they always do to make that a very successful event. So thank you. It was. It was a great day. And a lot of people out on Main Street. Yes. Every year is picking up a little bit more. I think uh, with the war going on, I think that's heightened people's awareness of some of the sacrifices that are being made. Uh, so. I also think that social media played a big part of it too. Yeah. There was a lot of word on yeah. different event, different uh, social media yeah. means. So it was great. Very good. Okay, let's go to the calendar. Today being June fifth, um, the uh, council has been invited to a groundbreaking uh, tomorrow evening. I believe that's at six o'clock. Yes. For the. Um, uh, Historical Society uh, groundbreaking for the barn that will be moved there hopefully yet this summer, we hope. Um, and then the uh, BZA is going to be meeting on the 8th here at City Hall at 7 o'clock. And the Planning Commission will be following the BZA meeting. Uh, another big thing that is happening is the last day of school on Friday the 9th, so watch for our children uh, over the summer and especially on Friday because they're all over town uh, through our parks and everything else celebrating. Uh, it's also the Richmond Little League Blue Devil Tournament over at the uh, park. So uh, if you'd like some free entertainment, uh, I th it looks like maybe it starts on Friday night and then all day Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so if you want to go watch some great uh, baseball, head on over to Bailey and BB Parks this weekend. Cable Commission will be meeting on the 13th at 7 o'clock right here at City Hall. And, of course, Flag Day is the 14th, and I'll say it again, fly your flag, show the pride. Metal Lodge, uh, the new expansion, is going to be having an uh, open house on the 15th. And I, I believe that open house is 3 to 6? Yes. 3 to 6, Metal Lodge, uh, on the 15th. And we congratulate them on opening. Uh, on the 17th, Pyro Joe's Fireworks Store on Main Street will be having a demonstration fireworks show at 9 p.m. at the uh, Good Old Days Festival uh, Demolition Derby area. And everyone's invited, and that's a free uh, show that evening on the 17th. Of course, Father's Day, as mentioned before, will be on the 18th, and it's a walk with Jesus from the Catholic Church that day also. And the next regular city council meeting will be on the 19th. I also have a couple of things here. The um, senior helpers, again, will be having their few, uh, free music series, which we uh, authorized the signage earlier in the meeting today. But the dates are June 22nd 
for the brass band and the horizon band will be playing on july 20 and the sentimental journey band will be playing on thursday august 24th so uh, they will be sponsoring those concerts um, throughout uh, june july and august and i'm not sure who St. Augustine's, I believe, is putting this one on. It's a little hard to read. Yeah, Knights of Columbus. I Sorry, I couldn't get it to print any better than that. Um, there is a ladies' night. Oh, I'm sorry. Here it is. Richmond Knights of Columbus is presenting a ladies' night of wine tasting hosted by um, somebody. Michigan by the Bottle, I believe it's called. Tasting room. That is on June 16th. Doors will open at 6 o'clock. There is tickets at, at, the, at the door and advance tickets. By contacting St. Augustine's, I cannot read the numbers that are on here. They're a bit blurry. I'm not even going to attempt. But anyhow, if you're interested, that's June 16th. It's a wine tasting uh, for ladies night, hosted by the Richmond Knights of Columbus. I'm sure if you contact uh, St. Augustine's Church, they can clue you in on how to get those uh, tickets. I believe that's all we have there. Is there any, anything else that we need to add to the calendar this evening? Okay. And we will move on then. We need a motion to go into closed session. I'll make a motion to convene into closed session in accordance with Section 8C of the Michigan Open Meetings Act, Public Act 267 of 1976 as amended for strategies, negotiation sessions con connected with the negotiation of a collective bargaining agreement. If either party negotiating, either negotiating party requests a closed hearing. Support. Must be made and supported. Okay. Mr. City Manager, you are asking for that closed hearing. Is yes. that right? Yes. Okay. Is there any discussion on the motion? Being not, roll call. LaFour? Yes. Ms. Stravich? Yes. Rydell? Yep. Ricks? Yes. Warren? Yes. Allen? Yes. And Green is absent. Motion passes. We'll go into closed session.